playing anything? All right, if you audition. Yeah. All right, group home. Go get him, girl. You got this. I got the shaking. All you, all you need, if anything goes wrong, just look to me. I'll be there. I got you. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna even walk with you. No. Keep it going. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Anna. Anna Hi. Jenning. How old are you, Anna? I'm 20 years old. And what do you do for a living? I don't have a job right now, but that has to do with my situation and stuff, so. What's your situation? I suffer from anxiety and depression disorder, so um, about like two or three months ago, I was bedridden and I hadn't left my house in a couple months. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. I suffered from a lot of panic attacks. I, you know, I couldn't leave my house most days. I couldn't leave my room. I couldn't get out of bed. It felt like my mind had given up on me. I just, I didn't, I didn't see a future. I, I just didn't want to be here anymore. And... You start to, you know, question your ability as a parent. You can't do anything. You can't make it better. To see my little girl... <sighs> With therapy, I became better. And then about four months ago is when it hit me the hardest it's ever hit me before. I just, I felt so bad about myself. I didn't, I didn't like who I was. I, I didn't know how to bring myself out of it. And We felt helpless. We didn't know which way to turn and nothing was working. And music found her. Being here today is incredible. I remember I couldn't step out of bed. I didn't want to face the world, and now I'm facing thousands of people. Today is so amazing. In front of all these people? Yeah. There isn't anybody alive that at some time doesn't need help in coping. And the world is here for you, and I just want to hear what you have to offer us. So just play and pretend like you're alone in your room and nobody's watching. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. We love you. Okay. I heard there was a secret chord that David played to please the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do ya? Like this for the fifth of mine to fall in the beach to live a battle king's composing hallelujah. Hey, you should be proud, guys. Yeah. Strong, but she needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. Well, she tied you to. The kitchen chair She broke your throne And she cut your hair From your lips She drew the
That was amazing. I have a question, and it's amazing. I'm telling you that I deal with what you deal with. How did you get the courage to do what you did today? My parents, of course. Life is filled with peaks and valleys. Oh, yeah. You have seen and experienced a lot of valleys. Tonight, young lady, you are on a peak. Well, you have a really interesting voice. Very different and very emotional. I could see it meant a lot to you. First of all, I would like to thank you for sharing your story with us. I know it's not easy. And I really, really enjoyed it. I think you're a great singer. Thank you. Howard. Hands down, the most emotional, got me to feel the most. And, and I'm putting your story aside for a second. I'm talking about just how you sing. The emotion that you were feeling, you were able to take it, put it into your voice, and make me feel something. Thank you. And good for you getting out on that stage. It's hard. So we should vote. Sure. I say yes. Mel? A definite yes from me. Heidi. You have many new fans, and I'm one of them. For me, it's a yes. And Howard. You're the first singer to come out here and give me the chills, and I'm going to tell you something. You've got it. We can't wait to see you again. Good. So what's this moment mean for you? The world. Beautiful. <laughs> she did it. She feels the words she sings. Yeah, yeah, she really did. She was great. Hallelujah.